Off to Caldwin's bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under so... Lost place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you take care of this. You understand? Curfew means ain't nobody around here just wandering around. Them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. <clears throat> severely deadly beating. <clears throat> Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the Regents, the curfew is no active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. <clears throat>
Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Baldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. the plague in this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. What? Damn.
ship when the duty officer brings it by. Our pilot will fry you. Those things? We think when Slack Jaws boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good. Rivers. Charger before your ship when the duty officer brings it by, and the arc pylon will pry you. Those things? You'll well, be that was thankful when Slack Jaws boys Alex come down the street to switch your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything?
Okay. One. and check the whale oil? One fur. The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing. Just leave the oil tanks be or they'll break. Why they always gotta put me with you, I just don't know. Must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad on your record. Very bad indeed. Should the factory shut down.
think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Never doubt it. <clears throat> Don't last long enough. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? a way to keep these rats off me so that I can get out. Take care of the rats, please. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe. There were rats. So many rats, completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now, like the others who were living here.
I smell bones and defilements, blood beneath the stone locks, and I building a structure. Now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a... position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the Elixir, the War Machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. 
She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. <laughs>